Yet you can create this cute animation by just using PowerPoint. Do you want to know how? Well, stick with me to the end. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to start by making this bird. First select chord um, shape and now we're just going to have to reshape it a little bit. Uh, make it, it as small or big as much as you want your bird to be. Um, I think this is going to be okay now for me. Go to rotate and then flip horizontal. So, because I want the, the bird to face on the right side, then select circle. This is going to be the head of a bird. And then for the triangle, this is going to be uh, the beak of the bird. And that's it. I think this looks good. You can actually adjust it to make it big or small as much as you can, like I said. Now, um, I select this block arc. This is going to be my bird's eyes. And um, so it looks pretty cute to me. Uh, so I select all the shapes and I will change the color. I mean, the, <clears throat> the body and the head. Think I'm going to go with the gold accent for. Um, and then with no shape outline with eyes I will select black and no shape outline and so the bird beak it's going to be um, the orange accent too and of course with no outline okay and then we're gonna make the wings and I select the heart shape this is the easiest way to make your uh, the wings for the bird and I think it's super cute so you can have like a heart shaped wing and you can adjust uh, the angle of the wing a little bit you can do horizontal vertical that's fine and then um, so let me adjust this uh, body a little bit okay so we'll move around and then you control D to duplicate this and then you rotate the second one flip vertical and um, make sure that you put it on the opposite side and then just select the same color with the beak and the um, no shape outline of course um, after that let's see oh I think I'm gonna uh, add the tail of the bird a little bit um, so let's select um, this triangle but with a straight line on the one side and then you select like this rotate it a little bit get one and then you control uh, D to duplicate this shape again and go ahead and select range select rotate and you said flip um, vertical okay and then you adjust this to look like a V shape like this on the the end of the body of the bird um, for the shape fill of course it's going to be the same color as the body of the bird all right and now we got the bird I want you to um, adjust this a little bit you don't have to add the tail if you don't want to okay now I'm just gonna crop select everything and then control G to group everything together except the wing okay now you uh, right click on the wing bring to front and then send bring to front for this uh, wing same as this one right click bring to front and then bring to front okay if it's already in the front you don't have to do this st uh, step and then we're just the position of doing a little bit and um, then we add the animation of the wing to so add first animation go to the more exit effects and then select fade and set ok second heart is going to be fade for entrance option and then duration you want to select 0 0.30 um, start with previous for both of them start with previous duration 0 0.30 okay and then you want to click on both of them and then select timing and then repeat until next click it said okay now you have your wings for flipping I mean flapping 
Okay, now、uh, more animation. You want to go with the、uh, motion path and then select circle. Set OK, and you want to adjust it so that it won't look like a circle that much. But we want a very,、um, a very very narrow kind of a circle, so most like an oval shape, I think. So I adjust it in front and back. I just want to make sure that everything goes、um, in the middle. Okay, then let's see if that works. All right, we'll just do this together. You can select it,、um, either thing this way. Oh, I think that heart looks a little off. So let me see if、um, I think I'm gonna delete this and we'll select. Uh, something else that's easier for you to adjust. I can adjust that, but you might be confused. So let's see other motion path. See which one is probably、um, easier for you. If you're just a complete beginner, you don't want to adjust anything that much. Okay, so you select S curve one. I think this is better. And then you just have to, you know, move this S curve to be a little bit narrow. And you don't have to do anything with the height of this、um, S curve path. I think this looks fine already. We just have to adjust it. Make sure that、um, all the thing duration you select. Let's try、um, I think four for. For now, and then everything goes with previous for sure, so that everything will start together.、Um, and then you just, I just want to move things in the middle a little bit. Let's just move everything to the middle. And now I'm just gonna delete this because I will insert other、um, shape, and that's going、um, to be the cloud because the bird needs to be in the sky, right? So select the cloud、uh, shape. And I would adjust the size and then the shape and the angle of the cloud as as much as you want.、Um, if you want it big, then you go with big cloud, or you want it small, then you go with small. If you want to add two, three, four, that's fine too. Okay, I will、uh, Control D to duplicate this cloud because I want another one. And I think、um, for this video, I'm gonna make just two cloud and.、Um, You don't want exact same looking cloud because they look、um, weird. So you want to adjust a little bit, maybe the size, the shape, or the angle. That's fine too. And you can see that I put I put them on the very left end of the slide, and I'll show you why. Now we just gonna have to format the background. I select this、mm, color. So let's see what color will go good. Um, a little bit of a light blue, maybe blue accent. No.、Um, well, this is up to you guys. You could just like go ahead and select around and see which one you like the best. I think this blue accent five、uh, lighter, like forty percent, it's good for me. And now it's just gonna select、uh, both clouds and then we'll recolor this. I'll go with white and then we'll see with、uh, with the shape outline maybe good or no. Let's go with the blue. Shape outline, and I. Okay, well, since the birds are have no outline, um, I would say no outline for the cloud is should be better. Okay, maybe we'll try to add,、uh, add some shape effects. We'll go to the shape effects preset, a light preset, and then maybe preset、mm, preset number four. I like preset number four. I think I'm just gonna try、um, this preset number four to see how it looks. Okay, that's probably good. All right, I think to make a di-、um, it looks like there's the dimension for this, so I'm just going to not having shadow for my the, the small cloud.、Um, so I'll say no shadow. Okay, so that's probably good. So it looks like the big cloud is in the front and the small cloud is in the back. And if we add the animation for both of them, and go with fly in、um, from the right side, and you just have to maybe move them a little bit more to the left,、um, so that it will kind of fly in、um, a long way, a little bit, and looks like it's going、um, out of the screen. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I'll adjust the angle and the size a little bit because I feel like it still looks like similar cloud. 
um, so you select um, both of these animations and then you go for the duration I would say five seconds it's good and go start with previous for both of them um, and you got this delay, uh, delay for this uh, sorry I would change my mind to say uh, seven seconds would be better then the cloud number 27 or the second cloud I would add the delay to it uh, maybe three you can actually add a delay like four or some other thing else um, but I think three is good so go with timing and then you want to repeat until next click for both for uh, both of this animation and you want to make sure you start with smooth and smooth start and no bounce okay and um, that's it all right let's just this a little bit and well let's see how it looks now um, wait hold on let me just make sure that the cloud is uh, in the back of this bird. Um, I want that second cloud, the small cloud, to be in the back of the bird. And, um, okay. I think I got everything. Now let's take a look. Okay, okay. Uh, well, I got this um, S curve, still not. Um, repeat so we'll select the S curve go to timing until next click and then smooth start and smooth and you don't need that you select auto reverse for that as well now I think we got this okay <laughs> all right yay so you got this um very cute animation bird it looks like it's flying and um it's super super cute so you can adjust anything you want this is just the um example that you can make it very easy okay well don't forget to leave down the comment below guys whether this video is helping you or not or whether you have any more questions about this um animation or any other type of animation that you want me to try helping you out um if any other type of animation you want to see leave down that uh, in the comment below as well and don't forget to check out other videos and also follow us on Instagram as well I leave down the link in the description too and of course I have the link um, for this PowerPoint template and also the video file for this scene um, bird the flying bird scene here um, in the description just in case you want to download it you if to if you want it done for you files go check it out okay guys well, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!